Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're talking about the uh, UMX uh, PT-17 aircraft here from uh, Horizon Hobby and how to charge the battery. It comes with this uh, USB battery charger. They work very well. I like them. Uh, I don't like them. I like them some. I like these better. I use this. You might see this in, in when, we, when I'm flying at the field because I want to be able to charge four at one time uh, so I can fly um, sort of continuously by the time I finish the fourth one the fifth one uh, the first one is already charged so um, I usually carry a half a dozen of these batteries with me uh, but before you charge a battery it's very important to check the voltage now I use uh, a couple of uh, voltage checkers here uh, this is an old one I've had for a long time it checks lipos and uh, nickel metal hydrides and uh, has a JR, uh, uh, I don't know if that's male or female, <laughs> it's hard to say. I guess that's, a, that's the male because uh, it's got prongs in it. Um, connector on one end and, uh, and the only way I've found to make the wire is um, make it myself. There's a separate video in the, in the playlist here for how to make this wire. You basically have to buy this and get a JR connector. Um, uh, you can make the wire with with uh, something like that on the end. It's it's the uh, connector for the um, uh, balance lead of a two or th three three cell lipo, and so you can make it either with the with this white connector or the JR connector, and. Um, uh, you can either do what I do and, and solder it and put uh, shrink wrap on it, or you can just twist it together and uh, uh, put electrician tape on it. So, uh, see that video on how to do that in detail and the parts needed, but the important thing is to check it. So, I won't use this one because I use it all the time. I'm going to use the standard LiPo checker. These, these are small, lightweight. Uh, uh, one to six cell, got to make sure it says one cell to six cell. Um, and um, so in order to check it, you take the JR connector and you got to make sure where the uh, uh, black wire is. The black wire should be on the outside here and you put the uh, lipo checker into the into the JR connector like that okay and uh, then the other end you just plug in the uh, battery and we'll see what the voltage says okay 3.94 okay that's about a standard uh, maintenance charge uh, that when the battery is uh, comes new in the box so that's good and so I'm always going to check the voltage of the battery both before and after I charge it. So um, this battery will get charged. So how do you charge it? Well it comes with this and you need a USB port. Well you might have a computer with you that's great. Your car might actually have a USB connector in it to charge things that's great. Uh, if you don't you can, probably all cars have a cigarette lighter and you can buy something like this which is a USB uh, port it plugs into your cigarette lighter and uh, um, they work great so I'm going to plug that into there and since I don't have my car sitting next to me here I do have the Hobby Zone um, um, adapter um, for charging uh, with a uh, uh, car cigarette lighter so um, since um, you, Horizon Hobby sells these. They're probably a little bit more expensive than you might find in third party, but uh, these these work well. Um, but it has a short cord, so I saw that uh, in my car too, by having an extension card extension cord, which is cigarette lighter to <laughs> cigarette lighter adapter thing here, and so I'm going to plug this in, and. In the car, the cigarette lighter is not convenient for the, where the back of my car is, and so I use the extension cord uh, if I'm going to use this um, to uh, uh, 
be able to have a convenient plug for this. So I'm going to go plug this in down here into my AC outlet. Okay. And uh, I always plug everything up one at a time too. So I'm going to I'm going to plug this into the cigarette lighter adapter here. And the little light comes on, that's good. Then I'm going to plug the uh, charger into that. Okay. And I'm going to plug the battery into that. And the battery will only go in one way because these little prongs on the top of the battery. So that's going to go in and that lights. And uh, as the manual says, don't let it run for more than 45 minutes. Typical charge time for uh, the uh, voltage of... 3.9 is probably only going to be 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to let this sit over here and charge. I still got to glue this back on. <laughs> My canopy. Um, so, um, uh, if you're going to charge one battery at a time, let me sort of move that back into camera view here. So if you're going to charge one battery at a time, then... Uh, it will, uh, uh, this will work. If you're like me and want to apply a lot when the winds are calm, then uh, uh, I'm going to use this four port charger. Uh, it runs on D cells and uh, uh, will charge for a long time on, on, pair, on a set of D, four D cell batteries. So um, uh, that's it about charging. Uh, again, don't let it go too long. I'm going to be sitting here all, all morning and uh, watching it. And I'll be back in, uh, with an additional video on, on uh, um, uh, binding and bench testing and so forth. By the way, if you did get the details on this, you can see it in another video. But it is made by eFlight, and you can see the name there. And uh, it's called Selectra. Uh, and it's a four port charger and it does a very good job of charging your one less batteries. So thank you.